Hello friends, this video on rational numbers part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have learned so much about the rational numbers, you might be thinking where exactly are these rational numbers situated on the number line? Because when we look at the number line, we can locate the natural numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. We can also locate the whole numbers that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. We can locate the integers as well where we see the negative numbers and the positive numbers both present on the line. But where are the rational numbers? We do not see them on the number line as such. I mean, we did not see them till now. So let us see where do we represent the rational numbers. Now, when we talk about representing rational numbers, let us take a few very common examples of rational numbers and try to locate them on this number line. So here we have a magnified version of the number line. So let us say, let us say that we want to represent the number 1 by 2 on the number line. So 1 by 2 is definitely a rational number. Now what do you think? Where does 1 by 2 will be, where will it be located? Now 1 by 2 is half. That is it is less than 1 but it is more than 0. So it, it is will be located somewhere between 0 and 1, somewhere between this place. So how do we locate exactly where 1 by 2 is? 1 by 2 means that out of 2 halves, 1 half, 1 half out of 2 halves. So what we do is this region between 0 and 1, we divide this region into 2 equal parts. This is one part, this is another part. So each part is 1 by 2. Basically, this point becomes 1 by 2. Now, did you understand why? Because we have to calculate 1 by 2. That means one part of two parts. So two parts should be total out of that one part. So what we did is between 0 and 1, we divided it into two parts. So now you have total two parts. And out of two parts, one part. So that is this much. So one part out of two parts. So that is 1 by 2. So this is where 1 by 2 is located. Now let us try to locate the next rational number that is 1 by 3. Now again where will 1 by 3 be located? So 1 by 3 will again be located between 0 and 1. So how do we locate it now? So 1 by 3 means what? One part out of three parts. So now what we will do is we will divide this region between 0 and 1 into three equal parts like this 1, 2, 3. So now you have three equal parts. So that means this part, the first part will be 1 by 3. So the second, this part is also 1 by 3, but from 0, how much it will be? 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3. So that means this point will be 2 by 3. What will be this point? This would be 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3. That is 3 by 3. So 3 by 3 is equal to 1. Right? So in this way, you can locate this point as 1 by 3. So we could locate the point 1 by 3. Let us now again look, try to locate another rational number that is 1 by 4. Now can you guess what are we going to do this time? Absolutely. We are going to divide this region into 4 equal parts like this. 1, 2, 3. 3 and 4. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4. You, we have divided it into 4 equal parts. So basically whenever you have to represent a rational number, what you do is whatever the denominator is, so you divide this region into that many small parts. So here when you divide it into 4 parts, what will be this point? This is 1 part out of 4 parts. So it is 1 by 4. What will be this point? It is 1, 2. That is 2 parts out of 4 parts. This would be 3 parts out of 4 parts. This point would be 4 parts out of 4 parts. 4 by 4 is nothing but 1. Similarly, if you move on, so this point would be 5 by 4. This point would be 6 by 4. This point would be 7 by 4. And this point again would be 8 by 4, which would be 2. And so on. So that's how we are able to locate the point 1 by 4 on the number line. So see, this is how we exactly need to locate rational numbers on the number line. So you see that you observe something very interesting that before this, we always thought that on the number line we have a 0 and then after that we immediately have 1. 
So always we used to think that 1 is what that comes after 0. But now when we represent all these numbers, we get to see that there are a lot of rational numbers that are lying between 0 and 1. 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 2 by 3, 2 by 4, 3 by 4, 1 by 4. So there are so many numbers, not only these, but actually there are many, many more rational numbers that exist between these two numbers. Not only these two numbers, but between any two uh, integers there exists a huge number of rational numbers. So let us try to locate 10 by 8 on the number line. So this is like an exercise. So we will try to understand the concept even better. Now what do you think we should do when we want to locate 10 by 8? So as I have always mentioned that first focus on the denominator. What is the denominator? It is 8. That means 10 parts out of 8 parts. So that means total should be 8 parts. So we will divide this region between 0 and 1 into 8 equal parts like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So now it has been divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 equal parts. So now what will be this first part? This is just one part out of 8 parts. So this would be 1 by 8. This will be 2 by 8. This will be 3 by 8, this will be 4 by 8, 5 by 8, 6 by 8, 7 by 8. Finally, this would be 8 by 8. Now, if you continue on the same lines, so what will you get? This would be 9 by 8, this 10 by 8, 11 by 8, 12 by 8 and so on. So, we had to locate what? We had to locate 10 by 8. So, this is where 10 by 8 would be located. So you see this is the approach that we need to follow in order to locate any rational number on the number line. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to avail free quality education with a simple four step learning process where you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.